You ready for episode? <laughs> This is this is a hard one just to be excited about. No, you can't really bring it in with anything other than Here we go. I'm sure the acting's gonna be great. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions unit. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And this is going to be one of the strangest series. Because, like, every other one, you're like, oh, I can't wait for what's going to happen. Because none, none of them have been real. And you know when you get into this that it's just going to be intense. And it's a real rape, evil, demonic case that happened. So it's hard to be like, yeah! <laughs> Even though the artistry in the first episode was fantastic, and so that's that's an exciting thing to watch, but it's it's very yeah. different than Mizapur, Sakuragams, things like that. No, and it's the same thing as like if I'm recommending to somebody Schindler's List, which is to everybody I ever encounter on the planet for all of my life, I'm always going to let them know you need to prepare yourself. Yeah, it's one of You're those. You're not going to have fun. But you have to watch it. Yeah, and I'm glad I'm watching because it's always... I don't want to say fun, but it's always interesting to learn important either cases or events that happen yes. from other cultures that you have yes. no idea of. Um, yes. So it's always good to learn that stuff. And so it's really yes. interesting that way, but it's not particularly fun. <laughs> No, but but it is important because if you don't pay attention to the evils that have happened in the past, you're not going to be aware of those evils happening again in the future because you well it'll catch you blindsided. It's, Absolutely. It's, you know, you learn from history, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, you'd hope. Um, but <laughs> uh, on to the second episode. Let me see if it has a title or if they're just numbered. I can't remember. Yeah, uh, here. it just shows episode two here. Where... Uh, why can't I? What is going on? Okay, episodes. Yeah, it's, so it just shows episode two. Um, yeah. So that's cool. Uh, that's I think the first one that doesn't have a title episode. It's just, I guess it doesn't need to because it's a real story. The other ones are yeah. usually have like a mytho mythology or something along with it. But. Right. All right, right. Well, if oh right, sorry, if you uh, once again, if you haven't seen the first episode or any other series that we've watched Netflix and other streaming service only allow us to use five minutes of very cut up footage of the episodes that is yeah. because they own the copyrights I don't want them to take our channel so that's what I have to do I apologize um, if you'd like to see the full uncut versions head over to Patreon they're over there for our exclusive Patreon babies hello Patreon alright let's get into this Patreon. love you three two one are you? Oh, did you skip the intro? No. Did you? Okay. No, no. Okay, good. Yeah, don't do I'm that. I'm letting it go. I'm letting it go. That would mess up our timing. So this is not going to be one of those intros that we're going to be dancing to like the other ones were either. <laughs> no, and kudos to them for creating an intro. That's that like doesn't somber. Encourage that. It's somber. Yeah. It's like it's prepping you for coming into something that's not a jump up and down thing yeah or even to be overly artistic they're wanting to ground this thing and let you know this is this is but, this is real but all the lighting has been fantastic beautiful yeah it's just everything about the show thus far is top notch either she looks like an actress we've seen or she looks like one of the people we met in Mumbai she looks like she's the mother in Mirzapur's daughter yeah she does Good on her for being a shapeshifter like that. How can you say that? Even if half of what they're saying is true, it's not under control. Chandni, the world is exactly as it was 24 hours ago. That's the problem, ma. Your daughter's right. <laughs> Madam, uh, you should call constable. No, absolutely not. Don't call constables. 
बे वजह सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन मीडिया को लीक हो रही है सब इंस्पेक्टर्स एंड सीनियर ऑफिसर्स को ही भेजो और अगर कोई भी बस पर डाउट हो तो दे नॉट कट नो एंड आई लव द अर्जेंसी लेवल व्हेन द स्क्रिप्ट हैज गॉन अप सो दे गॉन द हैंड हेल्ड द होल सीन वाज हैंड हेल्ड गिविंग यू अ पर्सपेक्टिव लाइक यू आर इन द रूम रेजिंग द अर्जेंसी वाज ब्यूटीफुल सबसे पहले अगर ये मेरे कंट्रोल में होते तो ये वारदात होती ही नहीं That's not what the left wing government thinks. Why wasn't that roped off last night? Why was that crime scene not roped off until the following morning? Because that's also where they just got dropped. That's not where the the event happened. It's true, but but still, once you yeah. found out this was a gang rape. Yeah. But they may have done all of that the prior night, and then they were done. That's maybe highly highly plausible. अरे सरताज ओ भाई मैडम ये सरताज है और कोई डिटेल्स बस के बाहर के बारे में कोई लाइन थी बस पे हाउ वुड ही हैव द वेयर विथ ऑल टू नो दे पास दैट टेंपल ट्वाइस व्हेन ही इज गेटिंग द क्रैप बीट आउट ऑफ हिम एंड द गर्ल इज गेटिंग रेप इज गेटिंग आउट ऑफ द मेट्रो एंड आई सॉ दिस गाय ही हैड हिज हैंड आउट टू इंटरसेप्ट माय ब्रेस्ट ही हैड हिज हैंड आउट लाइक दिस टू इंटरसेप्ट टू टच मी एज आई केम बाय हिम and i couldn't stop the push of the people and he just grabbed me as i went past him i looked back in the video alone ko kaise pata chala hi i really don't know sir maybe a nurse or a cleaner at the hospital too many people were involved before i was called uh, need anything from me yes sir that's interesting they keep bringing that up they keep bringing that up the fact that the media What? knew so quickly and every, they like right. the public has known so quickly They've brought it up like four times already. I like the score so far too. It's been Yeah, 100%. Cool. Kamal is it? She's been on these kind of cases for 15 years and they haven't had a forensic team on it. Yeah. Itne saal course mein guzar lo. Nice. Yeah, she's she's quite a lovely actor. Actually, let's go to Ravidas. जिंदगी and make sure only your team gets onto the bus no one else ji ji madam i don't think that bus is making it to the stadium on scathe somebody's giving info to the, the media stadium ja forensics wahi kiya jayega it might be that guy a few things here that are really strange to me huh if he's a legitimate suspect why isn't he handcuffed different procedures i don't know yeah. i don't know Exactly. And they don't they don't get read any kind of like Miranda rights. No idea. I have no idea what the procedures yeah. for India police is. The property. Mai mam to insaaf kar raha hai. Isme sahi galat kya hai? Let's try it my way. Let's see. You're the boss. Akash ka. The great line. Akash ka. Gaurav. Hazar. Are you Get the frickin' thing off and open. So weirdly done. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like it's like frustrating because like coming from, they would have, the case would have already been thrown been, out with with what they've done to the everything right now. So far, I know. Everything would have been thrown out because it wasn't done properly. Oh, blood. पहले ही बोला था मगर फोन आया जो तूने तेरह सेकंड के लिए अटेंड किया यार खास hey, दस बज के चार मिनट और दस बज के छ इक्यावन सेकेंड का मतलब ये हुआ कि कल रात तेरा फोन बस के रूट पर ही था oh. तू सिस्टम से भाग सकता है Hmm. 
<sighs> so good. So they found... They found blood. Um and his call record. So we know he was at least on the bus. Uh, or or his, at least his phone was on the bus. <laughs> or his phone, for some reason, was on the bus. Um, I think your suspicion was correct. There's something off about the boyfriend. There's some. Yeah, there's something off about the boyfriend. I, I don't know that I would have told him there was blood on the bus until they did a DNA check and confirmed that the blood there was a match with hers or his. Yeah. Um, uh, it's give or take, you know, there's still, that could be used as a tactic and obviously you can lie to them just to get them to get a response. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the procedurally, this is so different than what would happen in an investigation in the United States. Yeah. And, and we don't know if some of it's just not shown just because they assume, you know, that that's what's going to happen. I don't know, cause so you guys are gonna have to yeah. inform us to like, cause like if 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 he wasn't read his Miranda rights, that he has to be released, right? And er, all right. everything after that, that is moot, <laughs> right? Exactly, and the and Miranda rights that are read are to remind you of the fact that you have constitutional rights, like the Fifth Amendment. You don't have to say anything to incriminate yourself. The Fourth Amendment, they have to have the actual right to look at your belongings and seize things and have warrants for those things so may- uh, that you have constitutional rights. So I don't, I, I don't know that they do the same thing with maybe that. they, maybe they do it. And they were just like, I, they assume everybody knows the laws and that's what probably happened. I or guess. maybe nothing happened, but obviously somebody's leaking something as well because they keep bringing up right. the fact that, um, that how did they know so fast how did they make sense like they keep bringing up that so i feel like there's something to that and i don't quite understand what it is Uh, but i feel like this has a lot to say not only about policing either in india or delhi um and or um the the media as well and the way people respond to certain mm-hmm. events because uh, right. I feel like people the more information that comes out the more people that are going to be um, angry and right yeah and and the way the media presents it because on the one hand media has a responsibility at least here in the United States media has always had a responsibility to be the ones to hold the powers that be in check yeah um, many of our cases in the United States have been made and like Watergate was because of the press. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but at the same time, the press also says a lot of untrue, ridiculous things just to get eyeballs. Yep. Because that's, that's, it's a show now. It's a, uh, yeah, it is. So I think, yeah, this is really, really, really good. And also they, I don't know if this actually happened. Uh, I'm hoping it did. Uh, and they just didn't kind of make it in the show that, they're putting women in charge of like at least this um d whatever her name is the main girl is putting women in charge of all these different areas because she wants somebody who she can trust so she's putting a woman uh to actually take it seriously because it's happened multiple times where men have tried to shove off like we we really want to do that like but like it's happened multiple times where the 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 women are the ones that are uh, and I'm hoping that's the case, and uh, that's what I, I would do if, if this was a certain case, because they would be able to obviously, I mean, uh, I don't know who couldn't empathize with this story, but obviously women would definitely be able to empathize with what has happened to this this poor girl. Um, yeah. And, yeah, and and I think, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, no, I wasn't. Uh, I was just going to say, like I had said earlier, I think she has, I mean, she already has a daughter. She's a woman herself. That's enough to give her the sense of justice she wants to, and take it personally. Yeah. But I, I get the feeling there's something else going on in terms of this for her. I may be wrong. It doesn't really matter. I just love that she definitely is. This is very personal, as it should be. I mean, this is this is astonishing. And that moment when the, her daughter was with the friends talking about the encounter she had with the man who put his hand out to touch her breast um that that's just the reality that happens to women 
all the time around the world around the world <sighs> unfortunately um but i i do yep. if, obviously this was just as good as the first episode in terms of the the quality yep. of the episode uh the acting as there's i feel like this is uh, and we've been really blessed. I feel like with all the series, all the series have they, we haven't really had bad acting in a series yet, which has been amazing uh, to watch. Um, so I, I I expect that. But the way that they've all the actors and the way it's been done with lighting and the score and the the fact that this girl either she's not wearing makeup or they made it look like she's not wearing makeup because she's been out for like 48 hours straight and that's what she would look like right. uh in real right. life tired and, um yep. they didn't bollywood her hollywood eyes it uh to make her look pretty um so yeah i i applaud the entire series and making it feel very very real um, yeah and i really applaud the subtlety of some of the things they're doing we've talked about this before i even did a video about this like a year and a half ago on my channel about some of the tactics that can be done with a director to convey urgency in things. And one of the most common things to do is editing speeds, not just frames per minute, but also uh, how the, just editing. And what he, what I love the director did here in that scene was there had been prior to that, mostly static shots, maybe some dolly shots, not a lot of movement going on with the, with the shot. Definitely, I didn't see any you know crane shots. We really haven't had a lot of movement. It's been pretty static until that moment when they started to get more information and they're going to the map and they're getting phone calls and there's four or five people in the room and they suddenly made you more than a fly on the wall. They brought you solely by making it a handheld. Now you're a participant in the room and you feel like you're listening and you're turning your head. I just lovely, lovely direction. Yeah. Um, so I'm, yeah. I'm very interested. I'm in, I'm in, I'm invested, uh, to, to learn what's going to happen next. Cause I feel like we're in an opportunity that you guys probably never were. We don't know what's going to happen. Right. I don't know how this case ends. Uh, all you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it was like watching the OJ Simpson trial. Mm -hmm. Um, most people, you know, they don't know. They know that OJ, uh, they all know, if they know anything, they know the slogan, you know, if the glove don't fit, you must acquit. But they don't know everything that led up to it. Uh, so, like, for, I, I, I lived it, you know. Yeah. So, someone else watching, it's like, whoa, really? That happened? Yeah, that really happened. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're in the other framework. <laughs> yeah, so I assume most Indians know this story very, very well. I'm sure it was a highly publicized I, uh, event. Uh, oh, yeah. that went on so oh, I'm yeah. very interested can't wait for the next episode if you'd like to see our full uncut reaction head over to Patreon so there for our exclusive Patreon babies hello Patreon babies um, and oh, Patreon babies on to the next episode